Before getting started on this tutorial, it's important to know that you must have point of sale set up on your account in order to carry out the following steps. If you do not have point of sale and like to, please call 1-866-466-9732. Once point of sale is set up, expand the products tab and click product categories. Now we're going to add a new category for gift certificates. So click the add new category button. We'll name the category gift certificates. Make sure the status is set to active and click submit. Now to create a new gift certificate of a desired value, click products and then add new product. Now name it as a value that it will contain. So in this example, we'll create a $50 gift certificate. Before you continue, you can go ahead and check the box next to gift certificate. You can add an SKU number and an order number if you'd like, but it's not required. Next you must type in the corresponding price. In this case it's 50. You may also select a budget group. This will allow you to assign and keep track of all funds related to gift certificates. Now under category, select gift certificates. You also have the option to write a short description, but it's not necessary or required in this case. You can also add this product to the default list if you want quick access to it later on. Adding a picture is optional, so we're going to continue and click Submit. Now there are two methods to sell this gift certificate. One way would be to expand the Accounts tab, click Search Accounts, and search for the desired account from here. You can also go back down to Products, click Point of Sale, and search for members from here. So we're going to search Hopkins in this case. Now we're going to select the appropriate account, click Point of Sales. Now under Category, we're going to select Gift Certificates. Now we're going to click the gift certificate with our desired value. In this case, we've only created one, so we're going to click this one. Now you can see it's gone up into our shopping cart. A quick shortcut to adding more than one gift certificate of the same value is to select the quantity and then click the at symbol and then click the desired gift certificate that you'd like to add. Now you can see we've added three more at one time here. For this example we just want to add one so we're going to void out those last three and click checkout. Now we're going to select the payment type, we'll choose cash. Now this email address here will be sent to order confirmation as well as a complete and ready to print gift certificate. The buyer could also forward that email to the recipient of your choice. We're ready to continue so we're going to click submit order. And now we're going to click print gift certificate. And here's your completed gift certificate. This has been emailed to the previously mentioned email address. You can also print it from here and hand it to the purchaser for delivery to their recipient. It is also possible to process a gift certificate without an account. In this case, there will be no email sent and the from name will be blank so the purchaser can fill it in themselves. The recipient of the gift certificate may redeem it within their account by logging in and clicking the Redeem Gift Certificate link on their account overview. There are instructions on the gift certificates directing them to do this. You can track the gift certificates that are sold and redeemed from the following report. We're going to go back to the main window and click Reports, Point of Sales, and Gift Certificate Redemption Report. If necessary, you can use this information to help the recipient redeem their gift certificate. Here's a redemption code. So to redeem a gift certificate on a management side, expand the Accounts tab, click Search Accounts, and search for the appropriate account. In this case, it's Hopkins. Now click Search. Now click the appropriate account and click Redeem Gift Certificate. Now you'll need to enter the redemption code here. The easiest way to do this is to simply go back to the Main Account Household tab and click Point of Sales. Now click Print Gift Certificate. 
Now it's going to load and we've already have it open so it's going to be down here for me. Now you're going to highlight the redemption code. Right click it and click copy. I minimize this window. Click the main tab. Click redeem gift certificate once again. Now right click in the box and click paste. Okay. Now you're going to click submit. Now this account will have a credit applied in the amount of the gift certificate. This credit can be used towards activity registration costs. I'll demonstrate how this can be done from the public perspective. Navigate to the public side. Now log into your account. Okay, wait for this to load and click Browse Activities. Now click the activity the member would like to register for. We'll choose Adult Basketball for this example. Now click down here to choose the member. We'll choose this member. Now we're going to add this activity to the cart. Click Checkout. Now after this loads, we're going to agree to the disclaimer and click continue and click check out online. So now at this point, you have the option to apply a credit, which is in fact the gift certificate to the account. So we're going to click here. The member would then enter the amount in which they would like to apply towards this activity. So let's say they'd like to apply just $10 from their gift certificate for the cost of registering for this activity. They would then click Apply Credit and continue on to the checkout screen. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.